Hey everybody, Roger Levin here with your specialty practice production pearl of the week. I'm really excited to share this with you because the topic is increasing staff longevity. Now, if I look down, I've got my notes here because I don't want to leave anything out. And I know everybody is interested in how do we increase staff longevity? Let me begin with two theories first, good luck and bad luck. Good luck will not keep your staff long-term. Good luck is not a factor in how long the staff will stay. But bad luck will cause you to lose team members, and maybe not that many. And by bad luck, I mean pregnancy, having to move, take care of elderly parents, retirements. We're going to lose some staff members. That's bad luck, not the worst thing that ever happened to you. But good luck will not build longevity. You need to be proactive. So here are five tips on how to build staff longevity in your practice. Number one, you want a smooth running practice. Now, normally when I talk about a smooth running practice, which means excellent practice systems, excellent practice systems. If you don't have great systems, you do not have efficiency, you do not have a smooth running practice. And today I'm talking to you about it because staff members don't wanna work in chaotic environments any longer. It's a new mentality of the American worker and actually the international worker in many countries. Number two, you want to be an exemplary leader. Now, if you think about the word exemplary, it's a derivative of the word example. You want to be the example. What are the four or five traits you wanna see in your team? Write them down, keep a list, and start to live those traits yourself. Transform yourself as a leader to live the traits you wanna see in your team. Do you want punctuality? Do you want uh, decision-making? Do you want work ethic? What do you want in your team? Do you want teamwork, cooperation, energy, positive attitude? Live it and don't announce it. Don't tell anyone you're doing it, that you're changing. Just start doing it. The team will pick up on it rather quickly. Number three, you want a positive environment. People who come to work in a positive environment are happier, they tend to stay, they want to stay, they feel good, they feel happy, people stay where they're happy. Number four, I call it the three C's. Communicate, communicate, and communicate. Your team wants to be part of the practice. They want honesty, they want transparency. If you say to yourself, I don't want the team to know about this, you're already behind the eight ball. We live in a world now, think internet, everything's available, think chat GPT and AI, everything's available, anything out there, everybody knows, make your practice transparent. Communicate, communicate, communicate. And finally, number five, fair compensation. Anybody can look online in two minutes and figure out who's paying what, for what jobs, where they can make more money. You don't have to pay the highest if you do all five of these, but people know what's fair. And if you're under certain levels, you're going to lose team members gradually, especially if they're having more economic challenges. So with that, increase your team longevity, or as I like to say, keep your team for life. As always, I wish you increased practice production and referrals every year, and I'll see you next week.